Setting up wall profiles within the wall definition menu will allow for accurate renditions within the 3D model of what your wall surface or veneer is going to look like. Within Softland's siding profile library, there are a number of siding profiles already defined for use within the wall definition menu. For the purpose of this video, we are going to define a new board and batten siding for the second story accent walls within the model. From the right elevation, use zoom center to focus on the board and batten walls of the elevation. The wall definition can be accessed from within the plan, the elevation, or the 3D model. In this case, right click on the wall and select edit from the quick select menu. From the wall dialog that opens, select definition. The wall definition menu shows a cross section of the wall, including all of the materials which have been used to build the section. Using the horizontal slider bar, slide left to right where you can access the profile that is assigned for the board and batten siding. Here, the preview of the profile can be seen, as well as the dimensions with which the profile was created. Upon drawing the profile to scale, it should be noted that it will be extracted with a horizontal orientation. Therefore, to extract the board and batten siding, the vertical profile would need to be checked. Select OK to close the wall definition menu. Select OK to close the wall edit dialog and select the upper floor plan tab to create a new profile for a new board and batten siding. Zoom in to a blank portion of the screen to begin creating the new profile. Select Draw, Detail, and Profile. From the dialog that opens, select the Siding Board and Batten Profile and click to sketch one on the screen. To modify this existing symbol, it will need to be exploded. Select Miscellaneous, Explode, and click on the profile symbol. The symbol is returned to a series of shapes. It should be noted that we could have used Draw and a series of shape tools to create the profile from scratch. At this point, through the use of dimensions and extensions, the profile can be set to the new sizing before it is saved into the profile library. Run your dimension strings across the extension lines and then using the edit feature modify the dimensions to suit. In this case 11 and a half inches by 3 and a half inches for the size of the board and batten. The next step will be to save this profile into the siding profile library. Select File, System Options, System Library. From the Configure Library dialog Select the Type Profiles and scroll the list of profiles to Siding. The next step will be to add our custom profile to the Siding Profile Library. Begin by selecting one step. Click to anchor one corner of an expanding box, sketch the box around the profile, and click. Input a name for the new siding, in this case, Board and Batten, Option B. Note that the dimensions for the depth and width are drawn from the profile, which is why it's important to draw and dimension it to scale prior to saving it into the library. Select OK to close the Add Profile and OK to close the Configure Library Dialogs. The next step will be to assign our new board and batten profile to our wall definition. Note that the editing of a wall can be done from within the floor plan, the elevation, or the three-dimensional model. For our example, right-click on the wall within the elevation, select Edit, and select the Definition button from the Wall Edit dialog. Using the horizontal slider bar, locate the Profile field for the board and batten siding. Click to edit. Scroll the list of profiles to locate our new board and batten siding, and click to assign. Click OK to exit out of the dialogs, and as is seen on the elevation and the three-dimensional model, the new board and batten siding will be applied to the wall. In a similar fashion, the wider board and batten can be assigned to the gable end which is provided by the roof. Position the cursor over the gable end, right-click, and select Edit. 
from the Edit Roof Edge dialog assign the new Borden Batten profile to our model. The model is updated instantly. It's just that simple. Define the profile to scale. Save it into your profile library. Edit the wall definition. Assign the profile and make sure the vertical profile is checked.